if you have a solar system on a building that has an embedded electrical network, you can connect that solar system through an inverter to the gate meter. And then from the gate meter, the solar power will flow uh, through common areas and each of the individual units. So the benefit is if you've got a fridge running in your apartment, uh, it can be benefiting from solar power. And this is measured on a user pays basis on how much solar you actually consume, but it's integrated into the billing that you get from that third party embedded electrical network operator uh, that's managing the embedded electrical network for your apartment building. So if we jump over here to the Genesis building at 133 Bowdoin Street in Meadowbank, here we have an example of a 30 kilowatt solar system connected to an embedded electrical network. And this system is sharing the solar into the individual apartments, as well as the common areas of this building, uh, 58 apartments. The building also has an embedded hot water network using a warm water hot water system with ultraviolet to uh, get rid of Legionnaire's disease. Energy efficient motion sensor LED lighting everywhere and an electric vehicle charging station, which the Strata Committee voted to install in the basement car park. Now, the beauty of this EV charging station is that it connects to the common area meter. The common area meter connects to the gate meter, which is connected to the solar system on the roof. So if an electric vehicle were to charge up during the sunny part of the day in this building, that electric vehicle can actually be receiving solar powered energy, which is a renewable form of efficient transport. So this is an example of a green building and something here in the Ride municipality. If you look down the rest of the street, none of those apartment buildings have solar panels on them. So it'd be great if the solar panels started multiplying and replicating through the apartment complexes in the Ride City Council area.